for most sports, hand injuries can sideline you even more than some other joints can. So if you have to do any kind of ball handling or fine use of your hand, you need all the fingers and your wrist and your elbow to all be working well. So uh, they're, even though they're small joints, there can be big injuries. The most common types of injuries would be uh, ligament injuries, which are basically uh, can take a range from a mild sprain to something that separates bones and, and you know, doesn't let the joint function. Uh, for instance, in the wrist, there's a, there's a ligament in your wrist that's like the ACL in your knee, and if you tear that ligament, you really can't use your wrist. So that can take an athlete out for a season, similar to an ACL. Um, other types of injuries that are very common are fractures, and fractures range from little hairline fractures that, that can be worked around, and often players can still play, to ones that need surgery. And you know, we've done a lot of work in, in, in uh, streamlining how quickly we can get athletes back to playing even after surgery to repair broken bones. That's sort of where the expertise comes in is knowing what we can send them back with and what we can't. And a lot of that has come from um, you know, experience and also you know, we actually do a lot of research in looking at how quickly we can get athletes back. A lot of times we can return them to play quicker with certain uh, splints that we custom make for them that can protect the area of injury but allow them to use all the other joints in their hand or their wrist or their elbow. You know, sometimes surgery actually gets them back quicker than no surgery. For certain kinds of fractures in the hand, we find we can get the players back in a couple of weeks versus a month after treating them in a cast. So those kind of couple of week difference can make a big difference in terms of being able to play in the Olympics. So there's always a possibility of a nerve injury. Uh, the brachial plexus injuries tend to come when uh, you take a blow to your shoulder and your um, and your shoulder gets pushed in one direction, your head gets pushed in the other direction, so it stretches the nerves that come out of your neck. 